Hello, everyone. My name is George Madu, and I'm with Ron Wilder, um, Diamond Distributor and his organization, and the author of Beyond the Products. This is a book that we're going to make available to you. You could get it on Amazon. It's just an awesome, awesome book. A lot of a lot of books and and talks and everything else um, revolve around what to do, what to do this, what to do that. Secret number twelve is what not to do to build fast, and it's just as pertinent as all the to do. So, Ron, take it away. Thanks, George. So yeah, I, I struggled with this chapter because there was the don'ts, right? And you typically say, oh, don't write a book about don'ts, right? Write a book about do's. And uh, so all the other, other chapters, all the other secrets are do this, do that, you know, be this. This chapter is really focused on things that will be distracting to you on your journey. In other words, things that, that you might consider, think you should do, but you really shouldn't. Uh, and some of them you'll 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 go wait no that's not what my upline says or that's not what what logically makes sense okay, but the truth is um, that they do they do uh, they do distract okay so there's 13 of them uh, I tried hard to make it 14 or 15 or 12 but they just came out at 13 and then I laughed because I thought well okay it's an unlucky number well these are things you don't want to do so there you go. Um, so the first one is don't focus on the wrong business activities. Okay. As you're building your business, one of the things I talk about in time management, for example, is to focus on business building rather than support activities, because business building activities are the things that will make you the money. Support activities are things that will prepare you, but then won't make the money. Okay. And I have examples of that in the book. Uh, the next secret is don't get distracted by other MLM opportunities. We always, you know, once we get good at something like multi-level marketing, um, everybody comes out of the woodwork and says, well, since you're a diamond at this or since you're a silver at that, you'd probably be really good at ours. And check it out. Check our comp plan. Check our whatever. Okay. I always say the grass is always greener on the other side. The bottom line is this. You can make money with any comp plan any comp plan, okay? The long-term success, well, we talked about that in the last chapter, but, but you could make fast money if you needed to with any comp plan. And so jumping from one MLM to another, to another, to another is a guaranteed recipe for not being successful in the long run. I've watched it happen. I've watched people come into my company and I've watched those same people go out into the next one and, and then fail in that one. I, I, it just happens. So pick one. Make it happen, okay? And if you've really picked the wrong one, fine. Make a decision, but do all the analysis before you choose the other one. Don't just jump because your best friend's telling you, hey, you got to do this, okay? The next one is, and this is funny. People, people think this doesn't make sense. Don't buy business cards, okay? And why is that? Because you want their cards. Think about this. When you give a card out, how often do they call you? Or even better yet, how many business cards have you received in your life that you've never called back on? With full intention to call them, but you never did, okay? Having business cards is useless. Get their cards if you want to control that conversation. Next one, don't create a custom website. Things, these things can take weeks to months of your valuable prospecting time. Again, business building time. What is a website? It's a support activity. It's not gonna make you any money. Okay. Now, if you are, if you have a way of getting online in a short time, like 15, 20 minutes or half an hour, fine. That's no problem. But it's building a custom fancy website that I see everybody wanting to do. Okay. That's, that's the activity you want to avoid. The next one, don't use complicated automation software. Find something that's really simple and low cost. We talked about simple connector. That's why I created it. Simple, low cost. Next thing is, don't ever buy leads. They rarely, rarely ever pan out, okay? Leads, you gotta think about where do I get those leads from, okay? 
And do you think those people are the people you're looking for? Or are they just kind of curious? Or did they, they throw their name in a bowl to get some free this or that, okay? Um, next one, don't take more than one business success course at a time, okay? I can tell you the number of people, and I'm sure some of you, maybe you, are on this call, on this, this, this uh, video, who maybe are enrolled in one or two courses right now. And I, get you, I, I guarantee you that they're pulling you in different directions, okay? So my answer is, Finish one course completely, take what you get out of it, use it. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, go get the next one, okay? But don't take more than one at the same time. Um, next one, stop volunteering for everything. That was one of my challenges when I started, okay? I was volunteering for so many different things that I was broke, okay? If you wanna make money and you, and you, and you really need to, if, you, if this, is like, this is an essential thing for you, and you're giving all your time away, well, what's your time worth, okay? You want to use your time efficiently and effectively to create what you wanna create. Um, next one, don't become a product expert. Now this one, a lot of companies will scream at me about. But again, what am I teaching in this book? It's about people more than products. It's about relationships helping people get what they need and want in life. It's not about selling them a lotion or a potion or a, or a financial plan or a legal plan or whatever it is, right? That is going to give you that long-term success. It's your relationship building with your downline and your leaders, okay? Um, and the other thing is this, especially if you're in health and wellness, if you become a product expert and you start prescribing things for people, you are now... In the, in, the, in the target of the FDA, because you're not a pharmacist, more than likely, right? You're not a doctor. So you're prescribing things and you're breaking the law doing that. And, and boy, I tell you what, lots of MLM companies have gone down because of that. They've been prescribing things to solve this or that, and they can't legally do that, okay? Next one, stop consuming online social media. Okay, use it for lead generation if you if you want to, but stop finding out what Sally's nephew's wife's new baby just did in the toilet the first day. Okay, it's it's not going to move your business forward. Okay, focus on the relationship building. Focus on on uh, product, not product, but focus on if you're going to use social media. Work on developing relationships that will help them become successful in life and not focus on using it to, to learn cool things about other people, okay? You, it, it, I'm sure you understand. Don't quit your job too quickly is the next one. I watched a number of distributors say, I'm doing great. I'm making $1,000 a month. If I get more time into this, I can get to two or three or 4,000 quickly. And then what happens is when they quit their job, all of those life things, all those things that are important in life that were getting pushed off while you were in your job, now start becoming important. And you start doing all these little things. And all of a sudden, you are not getting your business done. You're focusing on the wrong things. You're focusing on the things that were pushed aside, and now they're taking all your time. Next one. Avoid online prospecting unless you have a very large online following or a very, very simple system, okay, to do it with. Simple Connector is an example of something you could use to build, and it's got to be duplicable, okay? If you are, if you have a million people in your, in your social influence and you're, and you're online and you put it out there, yeah, you'll go diamond, but guess what? The people that joined, they can't duplicate that. They don't have the millions of people, so they can't duplicate. And MLMs are all about duplication. So over time, what will happen is it'll come crashing down. So avoid that unless you have a system that you can teach your downline that they can use and teach their downline and so forth, okay? And the last one I have here is don't exhibit at farmer's markets, okay? You want business builders, not customers, okay? If you look at the actual hours that you spend putting together your, your booth and preparing things and the time at the, at the event itself, if you took all those hours 
and put it toward talking to other people, okay? Going downtown and talking to business owners, okay? That are maybe in a slow slump. You're gonna be so much more effectively using your time. So in summary, all the above things, all the things that we just talked about are distractions that will suck your time away from prospecting for business network builders, okay? Great advice, Ron. What not to do. That's beautiful. Thanks. Well, we'll we'll see you at the next lesson. Thanks so much. Keep smiling. Bye-bye.